reunion. It's like, always, it's like every two months. What's up, Eric? What happens when you interview Eric every two months? Because he's always have something to promote. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's your microphone. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, let me know when you're ready. All right, here we go. Here we are again. Here we are again. I don't even know where we're at now. <laughs> Michelle Noel here at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. Joining me right now is Eric Bauza. He's promoting yet another movie for us this year. It's called Banana Split. The Banana Splits <laughs> movie. <laughs> we're going to have fun. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look at you. I'm, like, I'm already thinking of that tra -la, -la, la song. It's stuck in my head because we've been singing it here all day. So from Muppet Babies to Serial Robot Killer. And here <laughs> I thought I knew everything about you inside and out. Wow. Okay, so... Don't blame me. This is this is a blue ribbon content production. So That's they're th they're the ones that thought of this uh, this this amazing uh, <laughs> spin on your children's characters. For sure, it's like oh yeah, we're gonna get to that in a second. How does it feel how do, uh, taking your cartoon voice and incorporating into a horror movie now? It was awesome. I gotta tell you, it was you know some voice actors are very cautious with the with the uh, productions that they choose to lend their voices to. I saw this one and I was like, a horror movie? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. So I said, yes, I'm in. Show me the footage. Oh so it was a little crazy, a di much different than the Saturday morning fair that I'm used to. Yeah. But I, I loved it and I'm very thankful for the opportunity. Did you get a chance to see your final product? Were you scared of your own voice there? I still haven't seen, like today we saw some clips at the panel. Okay. I still haven't seen the movie, but they're screening it tonight at the Horton Grand Theater. That's right. yeah. So if you guys are lucky enough to get tickets, hopefully uh, you're, I'll see you there. Holy cow. Now, is there a chilling line that scares you the most or your favorite? Well, it's it's all the some of the classic lines of the characters, but just they let me kind of go wild with it. So there are some lines in the movie that sound just like what the show would, okay. would be. And then there are other ones that I, I said, it would be more fun to slow it down a little right. bit. So, you know, we have these like animatronic uh, characters, as you can see. Yeah. He's like the T-1000 of... Uh... <laughs> yeah, <right there. laughs> I'm looking for John Connor. Yeah. Speaking yeah, of John Connor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, it's it's crazy um, oh, yeah. being able to, to be a part of this. Oh, yeah. We just went to see the panel of the Terminator this morning. We're just like, oh, my God, there's so much Terminator theme in our heads right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, so how did you decide the voices between, you know, Snorky and Drooper and Bingo. I, I mean well, the original voice actors were the reference for this film. Uh, we have uh, uh, Alan Melvin. Yeah. We have um, Daz Butler and Don Messick possibly switching off roles, but I know Paul Winchell was the original voice of Flegel, and you know him yeah. most notoriously as the voice of Tigger from exactly. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, yeah. So I always equate him as human bagpipes. He always sounds like he's pushing air out of his body, you know, like, and then you got that big wagging tongue. Oh. So he has that bit of a lift. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I love the fact you're wearing your Daphne t-shirt. Yeah. Speaking of lift. You can do it yeah. all in your interview. Just speak that way. As an actor, do you feel pressure with the challenge of the roles that you get, or is, you, is it kind of like a joint it's, it's a It's a it's a joint uh, venture because, you know, I, I have the help of the writers, the director, yeah. of course, uh, Danishka, who directed this. She was amazing. And... Um, you know, I feel safe. And Gary, first of all, Gary Marino, everybody. He's the man. The big deal. He keeps it all together, by okay. the way. All by himself. It should be called Gary Con, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah. So, well, since we're celebrating the 50th anniversary, is there any nod to the original? Oh, yes. Okay. There, there are definitely the lightness of the oh, original yeah. show is in there. Yeah. And then they, they flip it on its head with the, with the horror movie aspect. But there are some nods to the original production. You have a lot of projects going on in the works, and how do you have him balance the, your work life balance? Uh, what, do you do? what is your strategy? <laughs> well, I got a really cool son, yeah. uh, Riker, and he is the uh, the center of my universe. He keeps me uh, in check. He's he's a three year old, yeah. uh, and you know, he's your inspiration. Work is fun, but I, I love being a dad. That's so so awesome! Yeah. Oh gosh, you know, Eric, it was such a wonderful joy meeting you guys and meeting you again this year. Yeah, this um, is this is our thing. We do this like every couple every weeks. It's, it's becoming like you know our, our our thing now. We should just have our own show, basically. Someday. someday. Yeah, it's happening right now. You're watching sure it. to catch. Yeah. When can they see um, a banana split, and when is it coming? Well, out? we got it uh, on Blu-ray combo and pack. Uh, August twenty eighth in August. Digital. Uh, 813 and I 
think it will be on the Sci-Fi channel. So awesome. just keep tuned to the uh, the internet. Well, They'll thank be you dropping so much, news. Eric, for thank joining you. us. Congratulations, and we'll hope to see you guys next time. Michelle Noel here over at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. And joining me right now are the writers here for Banana Split. How are you guys doing today? We're great. This oh has been gosh. a crazy day. It's like I, amazing to see I the response bet. to this. So thing. what has been the response been with, I know you guys just showed a little bit of a clip at the panel. So how does that go? It went great. I think it's really surprising to see, you know, you get a good mixture of people who are like, you ruined my childhood, and another oh, bunch yeah. of people who absolutely love it. So that's been awesome. Were you guys a big fan of this as a kid? Was it passed down from your parents' generation to your generation? No, it's parents? funny because we we uh, remember, like, we have a vague memory of, of the banana splits, but yeah. on, you know, for Sid and Marty Croft, we really grew up on, like, Land of the Lost. For and sure. so when uh, they came to us and said they wanted to do a horror movie version of the banana splits, we did have to go back and go to YouTube and watch a bunch yeah. of clips and sort of, you know, uh, re-familiarize ourselves with okay. that show but it was it just seemed to make perfect sense make to, to take these these you know kind of creepy looking animals and make them into killers well, and how did you guys get the green light to do this as a horror knowing that this is actually a cult classic for some folks out there it actually started uh, with Peter Girardi and, and uh, the team over at Blue Ribbon, they yeah. were the ones who said, hey, we want to do something kind of crazy with Banana Splits. And okay. as soon as they said, hey, do you guys have an idea for a horror movie with the Banana Splits? We immediately were like, yep, we know what to do. Aww. We got it and jumped right into it. So, I mean, it, it was go, go, go from word one. Awesome. Now, we're on the 50th anniversary. Is there any special nods to the original? Yeah, there's definitely, um, we start the movie okay. with, with the feeling of the original show. Um, we wanted to really give the fans kind of a taste of what the show was yeah. before we turned it on its head. So there are a lot of nods to the original show. There's some new things that we came up with to sort of expand the world. Um, and then uh, I think they'll just see these sort of beloved characters in a totally different light. Cool. Okay, I like that. So, folks, um, be sure to catch the Banana Splits coming to you guys on Blu-ray and digital and DVD out in August. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm Michelle Noel with the writers over at Banana Split, and hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great. All right. Thank you. Michelle Noel here over at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. Joining me right now is Sarah, and she's one of the stars over at Banana Split. Hey, Sarah, thank you so much for joining our show. How are you? How's Comic-Con treating you? It's great. I mean, it's been a crazy day because we're just running around. Yeah. I, we, we got to sort of walk through a big panel just now, which was really fun, okay. and be on the floor for a few minutes. So we actually do get the experience of Comic-Con nice. as well as, you know, all the press stuff. You really start to see how big San Diego really yeah. is when you go into their convention center. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So so you're in Banana Split. I did get a chance to see the trailer. You look really awesome. For those folks out there who are not familiar with this t um, TV show that's turning into this horror animatronic extravaganza. <laughs> Can you tell the people uh, what your uh, character is about? Yes, I play in the movie The Banana Splits. I play the producer of the show The Banana Splits. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then mm -hmm. can you give us a tease about your character? What have you been up to? Yeah, she um, finds out a th pretty much very early on in the movie that the show is being canceled, oh. and that really throws her day off the tracks. Okay. And and then you know when ha she's already dealing with that, and then all hell breaks loose, and then she has to deal with that. Oh. So yeah, just a rough day for. Were this you producer. a fan of the show or your parents ever? I have never seen it. Ever? My okay. parents hadn't seen it. I looked it up when I got involved with the movie yeah. and I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Um, yeah. So. Okay, so now we're celebrating its 50th anniversary. Is there any special nods to the original? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no yes. As I sneeze. <laughs> yeah, there, there are definitely a few throwbacks to the original, okay. but at the same time this is a completely different vibe from the original and have you got a chance to see the full movie yet yes you have okay yeah. and it it seems like just just, just by your face it's yeah like something really uh, it's yeah it's okay shenanigans <laughs> ensue yeah, it's good yeah okay it's good. all right well banana split is coming to your way via digital and dvd over in um actually in august so Sarah, thank you so much for being our show. We thank look forward you. to the movie because I am so excited. I'm like speechless right now. Like I don't even know like how to like control my fangirlness right now with you. <laughs> so thank I'm you. Michelle Noel with Sarah, and hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Thank Bye. you.